First, the mental stability of the US president was mostly a punchline for the comedians on late night television. I feel like I can say this with reasonable uh, certainty. The president is completely unhinged. The wheels are off the wagon and hurtling towards the moon. No matter what else happens, Donald Trump will surely go down as our neeniest and most insecure president. With the possible exception of Millard Fillmore, whose first State of the Union speech started with, do you guys think I'm fat? <laughs> Recently, though, the talk has shifted to questions about stability, temperament, mental health. Even among lawmakers, what was once quietly whispered. This is crazy. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't say that no, lightly like and as a kind of, you know, a goofy guy. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, the... Uh, this thing, you know, if we don't get a budget deal, I know. Like somebody we're going to be paralyzed. DOD is going to be paralyzed. Everybody's going to be paralyzed. I know. And he hasn't said anything. I don't even think he knows that there is a BC. Yeah, I know. I really do. Oh, you're going to be paralyzed. Well, it's now being said publicly with seriousness and concern. The president has not yet um, has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability uh, nor some of the competence that he needs to demonstrate in order to be successful. Well, join me now for more on this, psychoanalyst Dr. Bethany Marshall. Good to see you. Thank you for nice being with us. Nice to see you. Okay, uh, I want to kick off with what uh, former senior advisor to President Barack Obama, David Axelrod. Um, said about the concerns he has about Donald Trump's behavior. Listen to this. I sat next to the Oval Office uh, for a couple of years. I saw the kinds of issues that come across that desk. I know the power that is reposed in that office. And if the person who sits there is delusional, uh, that poses all kinds of very, very uh, frightening scenarios. I mean, that word delusional keeps coming back over and over again. A lot of people are talking about it, given his behavior in the last couple of days, in the last couple of weeks. Have we now reached the point where it is a fair question to ask, is Donald Trump losing his grip? Is he unhinged or... You know, is there something worse? Well, I would say he has always lost his grip, that this is a chronic problem. We're just seeing it more clearly. You know, Trump is not my patient, but if I had a patient with this set of personality characteristics, I would diagnose them as having something called antisocial personality disorder. It's not something I've made up, this disorder. It's in the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical right. Manual of Mental Disorders. And it's really reckless lack of concern and disregard for the rights and safety of others, impulsivity as uh, characterized by failure to plan ahead, uh, relating to others on the basis of power rather than affection, promiscuity, parasitic lifestyle, very things that would be very benign to you and me, make them very angry, so they become very, you know, nasty, vengeful, and mean. Okay, so what, what were the, we're, we're hearing from people who've spent a lot of time with the president, have had a chance to, to observe him up close, uh, like Maggie Haberman from the New York Times. Um, you know, she, you know, has been there for a very long time, and according to her, she's seen a change uh, recently. This is what she said. Something is um, unleashed with him lately. I don't know what is causing it. I don't know how to describe it. it oh, you see a different. From... You see a difference in the past what days, weeks? I think the last couple of days, tweets have been um, uh, unhinged, markedly um, accelerated in terms of uh, seeming a little unmoored. And you know, we have this report that in private, you know, Donald Trump explodes with rage if he sees something on like, on the t television that he doesn't like. Um, he's bringing up old conspiracy theories about Barack Obama, the birth certificate, questioning the authenticity, oh, you know, the Access Hollywood tapes. So, what does this all indicate to you? Well, first of all, people with antisocial personality disorder have very poor judgment. They make poor decisions. Then they bring bad results into their life, which then makes them understandably paranoid. Mm. As I said earlier, very benign events make them feel insulted persecuted and then they become combative and angry but I would say primarily 
Trump kingdom was very well organized before President Trump became the president of our country. So he probably was surrounded by yes people. So nobody questioned him in any way. Well, this is a whole new game for him. He is not used to people watching him, uh, speculating on his behavior or questioning him in any way. So I think the so-called meltdown or crazy behavior is that he's not surrounded by people who are gratifying him all the time. Okay. I'm this administration, uh, far from you know people praising him, this administration, which is under investigation, multiple investigations, um, the special counsel looking into Russia seems to be getting closer to the Oval Office with each passing day. Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, you know, is is one of the focuses of or a focus of the investigation, I should say. Um, so too Donald Trump Jr. His daughter Ivanka uh, works in the White House as well. Could all this increase pressure? Um, be something like a trigger which would explain what has been days of recent sort of erratic behavior? Well, that's a very nuanced question, and I'll give right. you a nuanced answer, okay. is that people who fall into this spectrum of personality disorders, they become paranoid mm. because, as I said earlier, they do things that bring bad consequences into their lives, but they are not anxious. They are not anxious people. Lack of anxiety is at the core of the disorder. That's why they lie so easily. That's why they're never tongue-tied. That's, that's why they break the law. That's why they, they abuse the law, because they don't imagine that bad things will happen. Then when the bad things happen, they're completely taken by surprise. So someone with, with those personality traits, someone who would be uh, not dealing with uh, the pressure, I guess, of multiple investigations and being in the spotlight. Uh, we, we're going back down to back round to the president, and I know we can't do this diagnosis, mm -hmm. and there's a whole different discussion about that. But just from a distance, um, is that someone who would be struggling right now, who, who um, whose behaviour would be erratic and? could have some serious consequences in a bigger picture. Well, if you've ever heard of the term narcissistic injury, it means that something somebody else says strikes you to the core. And people with his personality characteristics are always narcissistically injured. Everything hurts their feelings, makes them feel diminished. When they feel diminished, they feel angry. When they feel angry, they go on the attack. That's really the behavior we're seeing is a, is a chronic attack. Well, should someone who has that sort of those issues, should they have access to the new Clear codes, I guess. Never. Okay. Never. We'll leave it at that. Uh, Bethany, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.